We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors welcome to the channel to all subscribers welcome back all I ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video helps out the YouTube channel and lets me know you appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos so here we are with DWAC digital world acquisition corp and DWAC has been having some strength for the last several days and now today things are starting to kind of level off we're going to talk about what's going on in today's chart and what to expect moving forward into the rest of this week and even next week because the stock is rejecting a key level that we did not want to see this happen and this is going to hurt momentum if it cannot break through it but before we do i want to share with you guys the opportunities i mentioned this morning one of them nearly reached home run territory missed it by several percentage points and if you guys want to get on early with us every single morning we strive for opportunities like these check out the link down below in the description to the discord we look forward to having you join us and we're going to jump right into it here with dwac digital world acquisition corp so the stocks i mentioned this morning turned out to give realistic expectations and if you guys want to get on early with us every single morning we strive for opportunities like these check out the link down below in the description to the discord and by joining you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so these are the stocks i mentioned this morning and olb nearly reached home run territory in just 20 minutes and if you look at it here on the chart we caught it as it was consolidating slightly pulled back got that bull indicator at 226 reversing and then full strength here on 42 vision hitting a highest point towards the bell of 18 percent plus and this all happened in a matter of 20 minutes guys if you guys want to get on early with us every single morning we strive for opportunities like these check out the link down below in the description to the discord we look forward to having you join us and let's jump into these charts so here we are with dwac digital world acquisition corp zigzag throughout the day early on in the morning things pulled downwards then bounce back up towards the end of the day and after market hours things have pulled downwards we're going to break it all down here but it wasn't the only stock acting like this and certainly the spy was reacting the same pulled downwards in the beginning of the day towards the end started pulling upwards and then after market hours things have pulled back following after the facebook meta platforms earnings report right a lot of things are pulling back after hours and today our spy bot sent us out a bear indicator early on in the morning and in the first few minutes after the bell put options two to three x and then a few hours after once things started to reverse we got a bull indicator as well from the spy bot and those call options nearly 2x towards the end of the day guys with clarity navigating through the markets this is our new release the spy bot sends us messages directly to the discord to maximize on opportunities within the volatility of the markets as well as you'll gain access to the 42 vision indicators the bull and bear indicators which the link is down below to the 42 vision indicators to receive the clarity you deserve within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities no matter what charts you're watching and in which direction stocks are going guys so dwac had a nice 40 percent run from that recent bull indicator to this bear indicator up here as you see it in two days and that is a perfect example of catching the dip with 42 vision and extreme weakness which is white with red borders around red bars as well getting a bull indicator and reversing with strength all the way up towards the point where either a bear indicator pops up or watching that first transition when weakness has started which this one was pretty accurate really close not always will it catch it on time like this one right here it bounced up nearly almost 10 to 20 percent and a bear indicator didn't pop up till way back here so it's very important to realize what levels to watch and how things work out but every single time they're pretty clean when it comes to when these bear indicators to the next bull indicator or bull indicators to the next bear bull indicator to the next bear right usually there's moves of about 10 to 20 percent 20 to 40 percent and even 50 percent plus in a matter of days right so this one right here in about three days it was pretty clean and we just got a bear indicator today signifying further weakness right if it continues and it's breaking through the lowest point of the day and it's fighting there right it's broken through it already and it's fighting 
and that's 7670 and the lowest point that it reached in the aftermarket hours is 7653 so if it breaks through these levels and it can't hold here the next support level is down here at 7188 to be exact based off the charts and then also down here at $70, right? I would just round that down to $70. Super important levels to watch. And also look at this from the bigger perspective, which is what we're going to look at in just a moment. But it rejected up here at some key levels. Even though it broke through $79, $80, it rejected before getting to $86. And the highest point yesterday was $84.54. And this is something to keep in mind. $86 needs to be broken through if this tries to bounce back up or if it tries and rejects again that is an even further sign of weakness if no bull indicator pops up and this bear indicator continues to dominate even though it's trying to reverse and get itself back up and then it's going to fall even harder something important to be aware of and watch now on the four hour though things are showing a whole nother picture right we got that bull indicator here at 73 dollars went to highs here of 84 dollars and things consolidated but i stated in the previous videos that we needed to see how strong it would go with this bull indicator and these green bars to the upside and if by any chance one single green with red borders popped up and things quickly shifted into red then momentum was going to fade very very fast and this is on the four hour if i pull up the one day things are looking different right they're looking like things are strong and all it takes is one smaller bar here as this one's already starting to become smaller than the previous one. And then another one that looks something like this or a shift into green with red borders and then red to then start pulling this down all over again. OK, now this is a big month for DWAC anyways. DWAC is having its launch of True Social February 21st and that's a big day. But just because that day is confirmed and everyone knows about it doesn't guarantee that everyone's going to hold or see value in staying in DWAC towards that time. And we're seeing it in the charts. OK, a lot of a further anticipation started way back here in January. Things came back down. It's trying to push up again. But if it doesn't continue the momentum like it did in January back to back for almost two weeks, well, this is going to fade away really fast. And the only thing it has going for it is the catalyst towards that date and if we keep rejecting closer to these highs of 86 and 90 dollars well we may not see 100 dollars in this run maybe after the truth social platform is released and the merger and everything going on in the future but for now this has been a huge momentum play for the last several days but a lot of people are not really focusing on dwac or truth social in the sense of these few days or month right they're looking at it months out years out from now and the further growth that this company could bring once it starts kicking in revenue and actually out there as a platform that's what people are looking at the bigger picture here not just the small moves but momentum to the upside or breaking through a hundred dollars in the short term would be nice for those that are looking for a trade or confirmation of possible strength of how the company is looking and how much people are valuing it in the sense of its value per share and where people would be willing to purchase this because in that first run when we caught this way back here in october and november at 11 dollars and it took off to 170 in a matter of two days that was a big sign that there was people buying this at 100 120 150 170 to even get it to that point so we are looking at it from a perspective of $70 right now, but if people were willing to pay $120, $100 plus, $150, well, this may be undervalued from a bigger perspective, right? From the longer term perspective of what this company could bring to its shareholders based off what we saw in the first two days. Maybe it was just hype and speculation, but time will tell. But the stock has done really good at consolidating and bringing itself back up almost to $100 and $70 as we speak. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.